folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with preferences in welding. We will start with application welding and over here you can see that it is possible to set up the weld material and process and couple of preferences. We will start with weld material. You can see that if I will start new assembly I do not have the new weld material so I can click and the system allowed to me to specify the material. You can specify the custom name, so for example weld material steel and then do you would like to specify the material. You don't need to do it from scratch, you can add weld material from the library. So please select and you can see that system select material for us diameter. You can specify the diameter, so for example 0.2 and minimum maximum length, again you can specify the length of the material, so we'd we'll like to use some value. You can see that system generate the parameters behind, so in the future it's possible to reuse this parameter. Again you can create a new material and select the different kind. Confirm OK. Right now in the model tree weld material still is created. If I would like to specify the process, again I can start new process and specify the name. So process underscore zero zero one for example, yeah. So please specify always underscore or minus as the name so full name. Specification number. So you can specify the number. So for example, K234. In the future, we will see where the system will show you the process name or specification number. Right now, please follow the step machine type and you can select the from drop down menu if it is manual or robotic. So same for the treatment. So please specify, for example, preheating and additional value maximum, minimum of allowed length on maximum root opening and so on. If I would like to see again parameters or whether the system specify the parameters. Right now we have specified material and process. We would like to add some preferences. For now I would like to show you the weld preferences for the fillet and you can decide if you would like to use the preferred standard AC O and NC, so please select and then you can specify that if the length will be equal and so on you can go through and specify that what will be happen and what will be default length for the selected uh, special weld types and define for example cross section weld material so the system will automatically select predefined weld material. So what does it mean? If you will create new one, the system will check these preferences and you don't need to always think about, about the material or process. For now, I will leave, so please go through the another type and check the possible options. I would like to show you right now some real example how the system works and what the system do. So quickly we will select the fillet weld and what the system asks you is the location where you would like to specify it. So for example, we would like to create well between these two surfaces, but you have to check the side one is the one surface and side two is here. And for example, the dimension are definite like 0 0.15. So right now the system creates for me the special kind of weld. And I would like to show you more, so we will jump to the option tab and over there is the possible to select if the, it will be on the surface or will be lightweight or solid. I will show you that for example it will be solid and weld material will be defined as steel, what was defined a minute ago, yeah, and weld process for now we will not specify the process. I will show why I don't want to show I don't want to specify it, so confirm OK. And on the left hand side, we will create fillet weld and same. Yes, yeah, so please follow 
the rules and doesn't matter which surface you will select the first one and second one and over here maybe we would like to see some additional values so 0.1 and 0.15 yeah right now looks nice and in option tab we will leave the surface but over here we will specify the weld material and weld process okay you can see it is possible to specify the another kind of the preferences and for example we will use the contour so we will use the convex contour on the left hand side so remember and confirm ok so right now we have defined two types of weld one is solid and the second one is on the surface and with a couple of dimensions and last but not least is the fillet well but I would like to use the selection the of the bottom surface and over here I will, I will use the control button because we would like to create automatically around the weld and again it's up to you if you will specify the additional value if you will specify the solid or, or light or surface and if you will specify the weld process or weld material I will leave it for now we can confirm OK what the system to behind the system creates I can show you the directly the information for the drawing so you, what you can see here and if you remember the first well what was created was with the standard dimension 0.15 per 0.15 yeah the length is 2 and it's the first weld in the second time we have specified it was created with different dimensions yeah so for this second weld we have defined the process and last but not least over here you can see that this weld is going full around the system show me the correct symbol the length is 12.6 and this well will be created as the third so all this information you can reuse on the 3d models or directly in the drawing but how we will manage drawing so please stay tuned and I will show you later how the system works into 2d in the drawing how the system count the additional information from the weld thank you for now you have seen in this video tutorial how to work with weld material, process and preferences. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Bye bye.